Hello, boys and girls, welcome back to our cozy colony in oxygen not included. Here on top, we started last time laying out things. So we have now a few solar panels not yet hooked up and the beginnings of a cooling system that we will need up here uh, for cooling our machinery. Down here uh, we have a pool that we will fill with uh, petroleum because petroleum that's what we will need uh, or what we will use to cool things. And speaking of petroleum, our petroleum boiler is ready, has been ready for some times already. Uh, but we lacked the crude oil to actually start uh, uh, priming it. And priming means we will have to fill up about half, a bit more than half of uh, this, this volume here. Uh, and that should be easy, we just have to connect here. And there we have a, a filter because we only want to uh, uh, add crude oil in here, nothing else. Um, so we will let this uh, fill up to maybe about here and then we can start heating the crude oil up. Uh, so it gets converted to petroleum um, that should then flow all the way back here while new oil is coming in and uh, at the same time cooling down the petroleum and heating up the, the crude oil and then here uh, that's where we will store the uh, the petroleum um, until we need it we, we pump it out with, with this pump so I guess uh, this one is not yet hooked up we will hook that up to this line eventually uh, because when we have petroleum down here we no longer need to, uh, to um, push crude oil up, converting, uh, converting it up there. But, uh, ooh, overheat, why are you overheating? that in a bit. Um, this series is all about plants and, and farming then. And if we have a look, we did the uh, arbor tree, we did the balm lily. Uh, this is a decorative plant, so we ignore those. Um, the bristle blossom we did, uh, that's another uh, decorative plant. The macro cannot be farmed. Uh, same as the hexalant, we have the salt wine, the dust cap. So what we are need missing is the green grass, the nosh sprout, a uh, pinch of pepper nut, and the wheezewort. And the gas grass we need from outer space and so far I have not yet seen any water weed, so maybe we also have to import that from outer space. So I think we first uh, focus on the on the on the pepper pepper plant here, and then uh, we will see how we can farm the the nut sprout. We have filled in the crude oil down here, not entirely to the top to, to overflowing. And the goal now is to heat it up slowly so it converts 
to petroleum with the, without it spiking so hot that it uh, turns into sour gas because uh, we have a vacuum in here and uh, that's what we want to uh, maintain. Um, so to prepare things, uh, let's connect this pipe here so we can have fresh cool oil um, sitting here in the pipe um, which is currently uh, ending in this closed vent um, which eventually will also be controlled by this uh, uh, thermal sensor but for now the difficult thing is we want to uh, heat the oil up uh, without it spiking and this can be a bit of a, a drawn out process uh, meaning uh, opening and closing the, the gate because these tiles should not go over uh, 500 degrees or not uh, for, for a prolonged time because um, then we would uh, get sour gas in here which we do not want so let's let's try this and um, uh, observe we can see temperatures going up but the the further up the, the tiles are the the less temperature we have here and uh, down here we are at uh, 800 almost 900 here we are at 500 and the crude oil is heating up so what we can do here is we can also open the gate again and that should then have the uh, opposite effect uh, the, the oil is still be heated up but at the same time the, the window tiles is no longer heated from from down below so this one cools down transfers its heat energy into the oil until it should even out so we are here at 185 195 so 10 degrees uh, difference so let's do that again and observe and when we get close to 400 degrees then we should see uh, petroleum forming but we want to avoid this from happening too fast so let's open it once again you can see the temperatures dropping again and the heat being transferred into the, the crude oil and I think we will do that a few more times until we have the whole column converted into petroleum. And there we have it. Let's turn this off. Everything is turned into petroleum. So now let's rewire is the way it's meant to be uh, we can get rid of this piece here this will now add more crude oil uh, down here um, and that will bring down the the, the temperature uh, which then will eventually allow this uh, door to close um, and apparently we have too much uh, pressure 
here on this tile, which is not good. Not good at all. So that's probably because this this column here on top is too heavy uh, so it can no longer flow out here and what we could do here is basically lower this set up down a bit so that the, that the top flow is is lower so let me see what I can do there. Oh, should have turned this off because uh, we we want to have the the heat transfer going on. Maybe that was the mistake. Yeah, now it's working again. We're producing a bit more. Of the, of the petroleum and we should see yeah their petroleum is snaking along here and through there and how this works is uh, the hot petroleum from this side flows in this direction and the cool oil from this side in the other direction and the oil cools down the petroleum and vice versa the petroleum uh, heats up the uh, the oil and once we get to to this point here um, we have to uh, to be careful again so maybe let's block this and eventually this will block itself uh, uh, because it uh, air pressure is is becoming too high but eventually we have to add a bit of uh, uh, gases in here so that on this side we can store infinite amount of petroleum flowing in here. We are ready for the next stage. If we look at our liquid only, we can see we have petroleum all the way to down here. And what we will do next is pump in two different gases. So we have one gas tile here, one gas tile there. And as we have liquid here and here, those two doors locked, the gas can go nowhere. The liquid can flow in here, but not the other direction. And here on this gas lock uh, or liquid lock, uh, the, the petroleum will always sit on top of the, of the crude oil. So let's connect this up. And we have one uh, chlorine gas uh, item and one blob of uh, um, carbon dioxide that we can pump in here. And there they go in. And if we uh, now switch to the gas overlay, we can see uh, these two are sitting there nicely. So let's deconstruct the vent. Let's deconstruct the pipe. We can also get rid of this pipe. Um, so we can also remove all that. And with that, our uh, petroleum boiler setup is finished. And all that remains to to be done is hooking up this pump uh, should be powered yes uh, only the the pipe is is not connected and i think the way we do that is 
we disconnect here, then let this uh, draw itself out all the way here to, to the top. And then basically we can reconnect at, at this point and bring in the, the picture we have that. So that also will take a while and uh, we will collect a bit of petroleum down here, uh, which is nice. We have reached cycle 1000 and we have made good progress. As you can see up here, we have our setup going, we have power. Um, there was a bit of a mishap back here because we did not have power for uh, these doors. Um, we still don't have them. So um, there was a bit of uh, um, meteor shower destroying things as you can see. Um, this one we want to deconstruct. Um, but we will fix them eventually. And with that we also have solar power, which should uh, mean that we are settled uh, for the, the power needs. So what we want to do here is, let's click this and this, and connect this here instead and then we can have here we want to have this pipe going out to there then and there so we can cool the whole thing we have a cooling setup we have a battery bank stores the power we get from uh, the solar up on top we have dug out our enormous hole for uh, the rocket so that's what we probably will get to next we have a ton of uh, walls here so Everything is happy. We did have a bit of a mishap here um, where it got too warm, so the mealwoods did not grow and uh, all our dracos starved, but we got some more eggs out of the printer. Then I dug out this salt water geyser, which produces warm water, uh, but if we are careful, and mix it with this water we can keep the temperatures here below 30 degree um, and we will not run out of salty water for this setup which means we do not need to touch this hot water uh, to, to uh, uh, go in there so we will take that hopper and mine up some uh, of the petroleum that spills from uh, up on top. And then down here you can see our um, petroleum is backing up and the infinite uh, storage works nicely and we are uh, queuing up more and more uh, crude oil here on this side i think we cannot use as much um, as we are producing uh, but with all that sorted we should actually uh, get on to the topic uh, that we uh, that set our goal in this episode which is a pepper farm and if we look at the uh, at the pepper plant 
and here. Um, from atmosphere, no requirements. Uh, we need polluted water to feed it. We need phosphoride. Phosphoride we get from our Draco farm. And the temperatures are 35 uh, degrees up to uh, 85. So we probably cannot place it anywhere here on this side. It's, it's a bit cool. Uh, also, where it's uh, it's greenish, it's too cold. And keeping in mind that we also need to feed in some polluted water. I'm thinking we uh, use the, the, the water that we have here. I mean, we pump that out to uh, to this side to feed in the palm lilies. No, the the symbol reads. But I think we can split that because um, we don't need that big of an amount. So what I am thinking is uh, let's have one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need that much. They are three high. And then we want to dig out everything in here. We can also dig out that part. Maybe we can place some there. Then we need a high torch. seen up here we have the setup going so we are currently looking at uh, at um, objects in in outer space um, which we could travel to eventually so of course the first two will be uh, the uh, carbon asteroids then we have a metallic one will provide us with iron and copper and rocky one satellite ooh steel um, but of course we also need one that can supply us with uh, uh, gas grass as well as water weed because so far we have not found those on um, our asteroid but that will definitely be a project for uh, a future episode because i think that once this is done One thing that we might have an issue with is now that we have solar power up here that uh, provides our energy needs, 
uh, we might use more solar power and museum, and we can have a look at how this looked in the last cycle. So we produced um, 12, 1300 kilojoule with solar panels, almost as much as with the petroleum generator. And if we look at uh, power wasted, um, there you can see uh, solar panels. Uh, we had quite a bit of wasted energy. So, and with the um, petroleum generators not running, we don't get any um, any um, any uh, uh, polluted water. So maybe we also want to look into uh, what we can do to consume more power <coughs> in a you know manner. That we could switch it off uh, if we uh, ever run into the situation where uh, our power situation is a bit dire. But I think that's also something for the next episode. Because we have managed to couple together a nice simple and next time we will tackle properly the Nosh Beam uh, because we do have that still on, on this planet and for everything else we need resources from outer space. So, until next time, goodbye!